Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am so ridiculously excited because we are doing a car tour of a new car that I just got. So if you are new around here, you probably don't know, but I had a VW Beetle. It was the 2015 one and it was my first car. I loved that car. It was great. I'm just lucky to have like had a car in the first place. My parents got it for me and I'm just extremely grateful and fortunate to have a car in the first place. But I had had that car for about four years more than that probably about five years now actually and if you don't know i'm graduating from college in a couple of months i'm graduating this spring so my graduation present from my parents was a new car again i am so fortunate i'm so grateful and thankful and i know how privileged and lucky i am so i just want to make that very clear but it was my graduation present so i got a new car um i've been talking to my dad for a while about like what i kind of was interested in and of course like i would just be thankful to get any car but he wanted to know what i was interested in i wanted to stick with a vw just because i feel like they're really reliable and i feel like the maintenance is also something that is doable and you're able to keep up with it because it's not like super duper expensive so i was interested in keeping a vw but i really just honestly wanted a bigger car if you don't know i'm a nanny so i will often drive around the girl that I nanny and having her in my bug was just a struggle my bug only had like two doors like the driver and the passenger so I'd have to like move the seats to get her in the car and it was just like this whole ordeal also whenever I put my dog in the car again like I would have to like move the seat like put him over the seat like it was just this whole thing so getting a bigger car was something that I was just like very excited for so that's kind of the backstory of how I got to this point but now I am going to just actually show you the car because probably what you're here for oh I haven't even told you what type of car I got oh my god am I okay I got a 2020 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SEL so it is kind of like a cross between the Atlas and the Tiguan if you're familiar with the SUVs of Volkswagen it's definitely a big car like it has two rows and a giant trunk as you'll see in a few minutes um, so it's a big upgrade from my small little bug to this car and it's something that I'm definitely still getting used to with like driving and just like even parking I'm always like scared that I'm gonna hit something but I'm being very careful but that's the car I have and I love it I am so in love with it I've had it for about a week now but I wanted to wait to film this video until I was a little bit more used to it and I actually knew what I was gonna be talking about um so I've loved enough I think I should just show you everything now and let's get into it so this is what you see when you first open the door. It might be windy, so I'm gonna close the door in just a second, but just wanted to give a little overview of what you see. Once you get in the car on the driver's side door, you have just like your unlock and lock buttons, and then you have the controls for all the windows, the window locks, and the rear view mirrors. Down here, there is a little bit of a like cubby type thing, um, and then there's also the trunk open button, whatever it's called. Then when you come to the dashboard area, over here you have a little kind of almost like hidden little compartment I just have chapstick and gum my bug had a compartment that was just like this and it's so handy I actually love like this little area over here and then you also have your light controls then we move over here to what is a virtual dashboard I'm sorry there's like fingerprints and dust and stuff it's clean it just is because the Sun is on it but I'm obsessed with this I did not definitely have this before in my old car and this is just so nice you have controls over here on the steering wheel so you can move the screen using the these buttons and you can basically control everything in your car right from these buttons so for these buttons you have these are the buttons to actually move the controls you have a heated steering wheel which let me just say a heated steering wheel is amazing I'm obsessed with it you also can change how the screen looks with this view button so if I press it it'll change um, kind of like the sides of it and you have all of these different options which is also really nice and then you can skip music with these buttons and on this side you have like your cruise control you can set um, like the assisted I don't remember what it's called but it'll alert you when certain things are too close to your car you also have your volume controls over here back here you just have your like high beams and things like that and on this side you have your windshield wipers and there's also a rear windshield wiper which is really nice then we move over here I'm trying to get the least amount of glare as possible but this is like the whole media center of it and it is so so nice so you have just like the radio which you can play whatever obviously then you have media so you can do Bluetooth with this car you have phone so you can connect like your favorite contacts which is what I did and then you can also do voice control which I'm not gonna press because it'll ask me what I want 
but you can have it go to a certain address you can have it call people all that type of stuff then on this side you have your nav I'm not gonna press it because it will show my location and I am parked outside my apartment but it's just a standard navigation it's really nice and I didn't have a navigation in my old car I always used my phone so having a built-in navigation is so so nice and I just love being able to actually be hands-free and then you also have Apple CarPlay so you can do maps your music your texts you also can do podcasts zoom basically everything on here it's kind of just like a mini tablet in your car which is really nice so I can choose to do maps through Apple Maps Google Maps or from the nav in my car so that's a really convenient option to have and I love that and then down here we just have car which is just like all of your like settings and things like that you can just check to make sure your car is working fine there's nothing wrong with it and then menu is just like you can just move back and forth between everything so that's all right here um, another nice thing is there's climate control in the car so I can control the AC right from this touch screen which moves me in to this next portion so these are all the controls for the climate in the car there are heated seats which I love I'm such a big fan of heated seats and then there's also just this you can control the temperature this is the power of the AC so I usually just have it on auto it probably just got loud sorry you can press sync or unpress it so if I unpress it then this side of the car like the passenger seat can control what temperature they want and if I want them to do the same I can just press sync here I have my hazards and then this button turns the auto shut off off that sounded weird but basically my car will stop if it's parked at a red light it'll turn off the engine to save I think it's to save battery and I think it's also to like decrease pollution don't quote me on that I could be wrong but that is the button for if I don't want it to turn off I can press that and it will just stay on the whole time and then back there we have two USB plugs one aux cord plug and then just like a normal car whatever that's called like the cigarette one you know what I'm talking about then we come down here pretty typical we have two cup holders you can change the mode of your car so I can twist this thing right here and it'll pop up on the screen I can change whatever mode I want to be in there's off-road off-road custom there's sport, there's normal, there's all these different ones, which is very nice. Also, this car is a four-wheel drive car, which I needed. My bug constantly got stuck in the snow, and I live in New England, so that was definitely a problem. You also just have the start engine button. This is a keyless start, which is so fun. It's definitely different than my bug. You have your, what's this called? Shifter thing? I'm not sure. And then you have your emergency brake, and this is park assist. So if I click this... I have a backup camera it will pop up and you have all these different options for how you want to be assisted so there's like parallel parking just like a perpendicular park which is like a normal one you can attach a trailer to the back or like whatever you want to the back mine actually came with a what's it called like trailer hitch thing and then there's also like this wider lens to see if people are coming behind you up here it will get orange if it gets too close and it'll beep at you so you kind of have a warning if you're getting too close to something then as we move over here we just have like this little compartment I have like my wallet my sunglasses I have wipes for my dog some gum just like typical things in there but it's really big so it's nice to have that much storage and then we move over here to the passenger seat which is pretty self-explanatory you have to lock and unlock over there yes there are fingerprints on that please excuse that you have the window controls and then there is just the glove box which I just have some paperwork and then I have like an emergency little kit there's like Tylenol band-aids things like that just because I'm a nanny it's good to have and then in here you also have like a CD thing you have SD card readers all of that stuff I think part of that is because of the nav but I could be wrong you also have the typical rear view mirror and then up here you have the controls there's like the emergency stuff right up there and then over here you have controls for lights and there are also sunroof controls because I have a giant sunroof it goes like all the way to the trunk my camera will not focus sorry but it's amazing I'm obsessed with it so this button will close the shade back there and then this button will actually open it which I'm not gonna do because it's really cold <laughs> Another thing I forgot to mention is all the seats in the front are motorized, or I think that's what it's called. So you just like move this and the seat will move and you can set the driver's seat. So I'm obviously number one, but being able to set it is really nice. My old car was all just manual. So having this be so easy is awesome. Now we have moved in to the back. So this is just like a quick overview of what it looks like. I have a car seat because again, I'm a nanny, but it is really, really spacious back here. There are the like vents and stuff right here. And then there are some plugs down there. So two USB and then this one, I think is a wall one. Yeah, that's like a full wall plug, which is nice. There are seat pockets back here on both sides of the car, which is really nice. And then you have your typical window controls, door handle, 
pretty self-explanatory. Up here you have your own personal light and this handle thing, whatever it's called. And then lastly for the middle row is, oh my gosh, I haven't even taken this off. Wow, that was satisfying. But this is clearly just a cup holder, which is really nice. I have to do a voiceover right here because it is really windy. I live near the water, so all you could hear is wind during this clip. So this is obviously the trunk of my car, very spacious. As you can see, I have a sheet covering the back because I ordered a cover for the back, but it just hasn't come in the mail yet. And then I also have this little pet partition. Honestly, it's more for my dog's safety than anything else, but it was super easy to install and I just put it in there myself. Then I just have some windshield wiper fluid and like a little car emergency kit just in case and then this is the trunk so it's really big it's so nice i went to ikea with my boyfriend a few days ago and we could fit a giant piece of furniture in here up here you just have your button to close the trunk which is awesome and with that i'm going to end this video here i'm sure there are tons of things that i forgot to mention or show or whatever so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below but regardless i hope you really enjoyed this video i know i'm so so excited again i'm so grateful mom dad if you're watching this which i'm guessing you are then thank you very very much i love this car and i'm obsessed if you couldn't tell so thank you again i love you but for everyone else thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video i think i might have just said that if i did sorry i'm gonna go if you want to stick around which i would love for you to stick around then feel free to subscribe down below i upload wednesday friday and sunday so there's plenty of stuff around here but i'm gonna stop labbing and i will see you in my next video Thanks.